Great Eagle Resort and Casino in Calgary had their event center packed to capacity, welcoming Zab Judah into Canada for the first time. Calgary definitely giving a warm welcome to Zab, and they were treated to an entertaining undercard as well. Many promising local prospects getting into it with the first fight of the night, Gwyn Lewis and Cristobal Diego. Now, Gwyn really started to find a home for the jab early on. That led to various hooks being set up. Diego was deducted a point for a late strike. It ended up not factoring in so much, though, as Lewis knocked down Cristobal four times en route to the bout being halted in the fourth frame. A TKO victory for very highly touted prospect Gwyn Lewis. It was in a lightweight affair. But moving to the light heavyweight division, a four-round bout, between Justin Schmidt and Zach, many wounds, many wounds, very energetic entrance, powwow drumming, a lot of vocal stylings accompanying that. <laughs> Still though, Schmidt dictating the pace of the fight, big deal was forward pressure, really into the body shots, ring cutting, a lot of that seemed to stifle the output of Many Wounds as Many Wounds took his first professional boxing loss, Justin earning the first professional win of his boxing career. Moving on to Devin Reddy taking on Isidro Toala in a welterweight affair. Reddy working the job well, great sense of distance, becoming more confident as the fight went on, and establishing a big win for himself. Toala definitely showing heart, but was dropped a couple times en route to Isidro's corner, eventually halting the fight in the fifth. And a sweet victory for Devin being that he is actually a security guard over at Grey Eagle Resort and Casino there. So good for him to be getting the victory in front of his cohorts. Moving on to Arturo Lujano taking on Alvin Tam. Alvin Tam pursuant throughout the fight, setting a steady forward pace on Luano. Tam figuring out Lujano's pace, parrying strikes, working in body shots and combos. Chance of Alvin ringing throughout the crowd. Luano was certainly in it, but culminated in Tam rocking Luano, leading to a fourth round at TKO for Tam in the super featherweight bout. And then Victor Palacios taking on Albert Ono Lunosi. Albert really establishing the jab early on, mixing in some one twos. Palacios offering up responses as the fight went on, working in some decent body shots. But then Ono Lunosi would work in that uppercut. Integrating that seemed to be a key factor in the proceedings. Drummer in the crowd would play various rhythms. There was a very tangible sense of just getting fired up. The drummer was chanting champion with just great energy, and Albert was putting out his brand of pugilistic magic as that went on. Quite the environment there. Albert did drop Palacios a couple times. Victor was not halted by that, though. Albert eventually winning the middleweight contest by unanimous decision in the eighth round. And finally, to the main event, Zab Judah taking on Noel Rincon. Zab coming out with a big entrance, many belts from throughout his illustrious career. Real tangible electricity in the air. And there was flashes of brilliance throughout a lot of savvy movements with the footwork and the head movement. Blistering fast combos, sharp accurate jab, but it just wasn't enough. Zab did take a low blow in the fourth round. Rincon managed to bloody the nose area of Judah. So it wasn't exactly the smoothest performance for Zab Judah, but resoundingly in his favor, that being said. Now, Zab was able to tag Rincon with some dramatic sweat flying punches, but Noel held strong until the final bell. Super Judah scoring a 10 round unanimous decision win in the super lightweight bout. Next card for Dakota goes April 7th. Gray Eagle Event Center crowd left with a big buzz, big energy. I think they're going to come out again in April, and I feel like 2018 will be a banner year for not just Dakota boxing, but for Alberta combat sports scene in general. This is Dylan Bowker with Liberty Multimedia. I've been adopted already by Canada, by the nation. And you see my socks, you see the flag on my socks. So you guys know that when you see me, you know that I'm one of y'all, and y'all one of me. Remember that.